Yeah, guys, so Graham Dempsey sent me the um, brass brush insert that I needed, so I will be cleaning the coin later, the cartwheel penny, see how good we can get it. But I'd like to say a big thank you to Graham for sending me this, and we'll give it a good chance. All right, guys, so I want to show you the stuff I've got from the cleaning pencil. That was just to show you, the composite cleaning pencil, and we've got the pencil itself, very well designed. We've got lots of different stuff on it. Look how sharp the nib is for it. And every time we press the button, if I'm running out, we get a little bit more. I believe these are made out of fiberglass, so it keeps your coin um, pretty safe to use, basically. It stops them from getting completely wrecked when using them. Now we've got some inserts. So we've got some extras and a black one. Graham did tell me the black one is used for a little bit more fine detail. So we'll be using that one at the end. And then we have the brass insert. So we'll be using that one in a minute. And I've got the little card. This normally fits in my wallet for if I ever take a picture when I'm out. And absolutely brilliant if you were recording your fine stuff low. And a nice little hold for the pencil to fit in so you can keep it nice and tidy. So let's give it a go with this cartwheel penny. Let's show you a good look at her first before we actually do. So, you can see it's pretty ruined. We've got a little bit of detail of Britannia across the top here, but let's see how she turns out. I'm quite intrigued by this because I really like these pennies. They're, they, they don't come up very often, and I want to get this one clean. So let's see how she handles her. So, I think I've got some good light on it there now. And I'm going to change the little nib in the bottom of this one. I'm going to put the brass one in it first. I'm going to roll the little sleeve up a little bit. So I'm going to keep it quite far down so it's quite abrasive at the minute. So I can proper get this crud off. So I'm going to put it all the way down and put it into the pencil. There we go. And then let's work from the middle out with little brushes. Tell you what, I don't want to ruin this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little toothpick first and just peck that rubbish off. <laughs> so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to use a little toothpick because I don't want to ruin this new brass tip he's given me. So I'm just gonna fake some of the crud off the middle first, just so I don't ruin my pencil. Okay, as you can clearly see there, there you go. It actually does nothing. So let's put the pencil to the test. We've got the brass insert on. I'm going to put this little bit quite far down because I want it quite abrasive at the minute with it being so cruddy and crusty. I'll tell you what, I'm going to start with this side. You can see a little bit of Britannia across the top there. Now, Graham's told me the best way to use this brush is on a 45 degree angle. So keep in mind that 90 degree would be that straight up and the coin flat, so you're creating a square edge. So half of that at your 45 degree angle and start from the middle out and start brushing it out. To get rid of all that excess rubbish on it. It's fetching it off. Pretty damn easy. It's a uh, lot easier than trying with a toothpick. Now I ain't gonna lie, I used to be a bugger for electrolytus. I did it a lot with coin cleaning. 
and I have never had success with it. I have only ever had success once, and that was very, very lucky because it was a coin spill and it was the middle coin. Now, what I should have done for the price of these is order a cleaning pencil, just not my phone, so that I could have actually professionally cleaned my coin rather than ruin them because I probably would have got some identification off them that way rather than making them look like they've been boiled from the inside out basically and in all honesty we're sticking coins into main we're sticking coins in main electrics by doing it that way it's not really the safest sort of manner of trying to clean a coin so Give it a little rub there because we've got a really hard bit in the middle so we can get rid of it. Well, it's just working, there's a lot, as you can see here, there's a lot being fetched off it. So I'll bring some of this detail up hopefully and get a proper year off her. Much, much smoother now. Still got that little bit in the middle. Let's work it a little bit more. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm going to carry on with this and I'm going to come back in a second once I've taken some more off. There we go. Done quite a lot of rubbing with that now. And we've got it pretty smooth in the middle. So now I'm going to switch over to the fiberglass tip. Let's see how she handles this one. So I'm going to start with the edge a little bit. So we can bring any of that right here. Well, I'm starting to see it already. So I'm trying to do it in strokes. A little bit like using the file rather than rubbing it back and forward like so. Just trying to do it in bits and then I'm gonna once I've worn the end down it's a bit flat I'm gonna switch over and keep trying to wear the pencil evenly. See if we can get some sort of picture up on this. Oh, we're starting to see that rim pretty well now. Do the same. I'm going to pause it and I'll come back in a second. Now we've got the rim looking pretty good now. I'm going to switch back over to the brass insert. Now I'm going to take this, I've pushed this little rubber all the way up so we've got really, really lots of bristles in this now. I'm going to give it now a nice little rub back over. Nice gentle brushes on it. Starting to see the person sitting down on the penny now, anyway. You guys see it? Head here, and body, and arm. Now, if I didn't know what this pen, this coin was, because it's only really identifiable by the rim, it's one of the only coins they made like that. Now, I would probably be able to get an ID off that coin now, if not. Let's 
coming out really, really well. Trying to see the person. can see a lot of thoughts gone into these pencils. They certainly work. Every cartwheel Penny I've ever had. All you've ever, you've ever been able to see is just the rim. You've never been able to make out that in the middle. See it's really really coming up as well. You can even see the fork that she's holding. Let's keep going. Oh, we're getting a date. That's what I wanted. Can you guys start to see the date? See if you can see it there at the bottom. Seventeen. You can see this first two. Seventeen. Let's give it a little bit more. Seventeen ninety seven. If the shade helps. Right at the bottom here, we've got one, seven, nine, seven. And more just keeps coming off it. I suppose you can use these pencils whichever way you like as well. If you want it to be rough and abrasive like I did at the beginning, you could. Or let's say you've got a really old coin like a Roman and you want to be nice and gentle just to bring up that emperor slightly. And you could, you could make sure you just using the brass insert to start with and then very light rub up with the fiberglass around the edge of any detail. It's proper, it's proper et at this coin though. No ever in as the bottom of this lady here has a head again. Bottom of it here, it's completely rotten away. Such a shame. I can't believe we can actually see something on it now though. You can see it clear as day. See the fork, top corner here, and the head. But the bottom here just completely ate at. I'm going to start with the other side. We're back in a minute. Now guys, that's just a nice little clean up of that coin. It's not very uh, excessive clean up. I could spend a lot longer doing that because there's still a lot more coming off it. You can clearly see the date below it now. <clears throat> it says Britannia across the top. It's just a shame on that patina. It's just been so attacked by nature. Now this bit in the middle where we can see a bit of copper. I believe that is from where I've been quite rough on it just to get that excessive crud off it and then on the back you couldn't see a thing literally you could not see anything now I can see the bottom of his bust here which has come up amazingly and it says George around the outside Dal whatever else they say on the coins I'm unsure but I am going to give you a little example on something with good patina. Not this thing that's been attacked, but I'm still incredibly happy with that. I've never had one in that condition. You can clearly see where nature's attacked it. The rims come up so well. I'll be giving this one back to the farmer because she loves the history. So guys, that's the composite cleaning pencil by Graham Dempsey. Tell you what, amazing. It, I can't believe it's actually brought that coin to some sort of detail, it was ruined and 
to be fair, I absolutely love this thing and the fact that it stays in your wallet. Now, if any of you are interested in his stuff, I will put a link in the comments below so you can head over to his website and try it out. A, they are made specially for Roman coins. I, I believe you can use them for multiple things, but when Graham is showing them at um, festivals like Detectiveville and Detecticon, he normally brings Grotti Romans with him and it completely restores them, basically. You can actually see the Emperor on them, where beforehand you can basically see nothing. Now, I will do a video with a Grotti Roman, but give me a chance to find one. I need to find one first. And other than that, share the love, go buy some of Graham's stuff. Amazing. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.